The Dino Kids are having fun again. Nice safe fun. But it's still fun. Seems like their mom is disappointed. What? Do you guys have no work to do? If not, leave this place and play. I'm tired. Come out of that place and play those silly games somewhere else. Stop looking at me and go away. Grief stricken little beings felt abandoned and returned to their siblings happily napping. Do you think she abandoned us? Will she ever accept us? And now, an evil Allosaurus spotted this innocence. Oh, yeah! Oh, God! You have provided me with an opportunity for a <laughs> feast today. What? The predator began luring the dino towards him with the apples. The screams of the little T-Rex <laughs> alerted the mommy. <gasps> and she began running behind the predator fast and furiously. Alucidus was hit and her baby is safe. <laughs> Alucidus is a greedy loser. He was crushed and then sent into the skies. I'm sorry, Mom. I gave you trouble. Why are you sorry, silly? I'm glad that you're safe. Mommy has a plan. Something exciting for the innocent dinos to happily live at. Do you guys want to see your new mud home? Go safely, it's narrow, one after another. And now the family will live peacefully and quite high from evil eyes. Oh no, what? not again. I guess the weird family built this one. I'm going to destroy this family. It's an architectural marvel. He could ruin it less, so he gave up. T-Rex and Parasaur are so chill. They end up at the lake to drink some water and then to see fishes.
While they were returning back, <gasps> they heard chaos erupting. <gasps> oh, they no! immediately changed the routes and came near a slide. Shall we play with that slide? Elix was too fast to slide and aggressively fall. <laughs> now it's your turn, Palasaur. Right from there, Parasaur spotted a giant Allosaurus. What? No sooner than that, the Allosaurus began chasing T-Rex. He chased and chased until he was the only one left to run around the ladder. T-Rex made him fall and the Allosaurus caught up with much more anger. What? He climbed up the ladder and slid down before the Allosaurus could catch him. Let's get him stuck. Allosaurus is spelling off and might turn into a wheel sooner. Both the dinos quickly fled from there before Allosaurus could take any revenge. Erex and Parasaur were playing with the tire. Alasaurus spotted them at the right time. He can take revenge. <laughs> but that clumsy dude fell and both the dinos went alert. What? Oh no! We should get that idiot stuck in this tire. This will solve our miseries. Oh, hello, idiot. Do you want to fight with me? And right then, he was caught in the tire and began swinging continuously until he feels a migraine. The summer heat is at its peak. Therefore, the crazy dinos are occupying the pool to overcome sunstrokes. Bronto and Alu are playing some silly games as always. All the dinos are happily accompanied. Meanwhile, there's the T-Rex living with content in the heat. <laughs> While walking back, he comes across the pool and a few dinos chilling in there. Even I want to refresh myself. He takes an enormous jump into the pool and all the dinos splashed out of the water. Oh no! All 
all the dinos began complaining to the T-Rex to leave. But since he wants to stay there for a little longer, he shouts back at them. All the dinos left the place in fear. I think we should throw some sharks into that pool. Parasaur and Allosaurus ran to the lake and got a shark on their back. Oh yeah! Guys, come on, throw it! Allo and Parasaur noticed the T-Rex wasn't aware and they threw the shark and quickly escaped. T-Rex got back to chilling in the pool. But the shark is in its sense, so he attacks T-Rex. What? Dinos expected T-Rex would be done by now. But T-Rex surprised them emerging into a shark dino. The dinos began running for their life while the dino shark chased. After a long chase, the dino shark didn't find any dinos, so he slowed down and walked on his pace. Meanwhile, the dinos found themselves closer to the desert. Let's bring that guy here. Bronto triggered the shark dino and they ran towards the desert. The shark slowly felt exhausted due to the sun. Soon, T-Rex is relieved from the shark and gets back to his normal senses. All the dinos wrote to the T-Rex to go away. What? <laughs> Baby Parasaur is in urgent need of a restroom. He comes across a toilet and barges in. There is a crab which is taking a stroll around the toilet. It went unnoticed by the dino's heat of the situation. Without much delay, he got to work. Like someone is in need of a toilet too. T-Rex notices a toilet and tries to get it, but sees that someone is using it. What? He doesn't care and went to barge in, but it's pretty unsuccessful. <gasps> Meanwhile, the parasaur oh, is no! terrified that. His sanitary secrets with unveil. T-Rex is done with attacks and now he is intensively kicking. The toilet rim is shaking and T-Rex leaves the place only to break open with great force and damage his skull. Baby T-Rex stopped functioning for a moment 
But then he gets back by threatening baby Parasol to leave immediately. <laughs> Parasol was heated. Baby T-Rex instantly sits and relieves the heat of situations. Oh yeah! What? He felt a sting on his butt and quickly got off to see what's wrong. Multiple crabs emerge from the toilet and Baby T-Rex is traumatized as the crab jumped onto him and began biting. He tried his best to get out and after much chaos he finally did. Baby T-Rex gave up on life and took up acceptance. The baby parasaur gets back from the cleaning what? and sees the crabs. Crab has bitten the already wounded guy, but he kills all of them with his foot. T Rex sensory nerves begin working and he realizes the crabs are biting. He ran all over to get rid of them. Baby Parasaur was busy stamping crabs and the baby T-Rex went unnoticed. Soon mommy T-Rex got what? there and was traumatized seeing the baby dino's activities. He realizes there's a pond and dumped baby T-Rex in to relieve him from the crabs. Come to Mama T-Rex. Let's go home. Baby T-Rex misery has ended, but the crab stamping saga might never. There lived a good boy T-Rex in the clear Jurassic land. Always finding ways to admire nature. He was taking a short walk and then came across a few dinos munching fresh fruits. They look so yum. Can I join you guys? Oh no, you can't. Please leave and let us eat our meal peacefully. T-Rex's fragile heart broke. He sadly left from there and after a while he came across a huge variety of fruits inside a crocodile's mouth. Perhaps a trap. T-Rex wants to grab those fruits but crocodile bites his hand. His heart is longing for those fresh fruits. Time to think of a way to grab them. Oh, I have a plan. T-Rex obstructed the crocodile's mouth with a small log of wood. T-Rex then reached out to grab those fruits but the crocodile soon broke the wood and closed its mouth. T-Rex is now annoyed. But T-Rex is a very determined individual. He has got his ways. So he carried a rock twice his weight till a lever. Now all he has to do is to take a jump. I'm certainly so smart. The stone went and fell into the crocodile's mouth. Its mouth was abstracted and it's a perfect chance again. His luck did not strike well what? again.
T-Rex might actually give up, but his stem fell from the tree. Newton's got an apple and T-Rex oh, got yeah. a stem. Now T-Rex will tickle the crocodile. It actually worked! T-Rex is having a good time munching fresh and healthy fruits. He is an ideal good boy. <laughs> ah, here we go again. T-Rex is resting. Look at angry Brontosaurus for being the only person walking. What? <sighs> and the log goes and wakes T-Rex, the lazy guy, up. Can you just wake up and do the course? There seems to be no work. Can you just let me sleep? No, you're going to work. Alison has given the <laughs> glazy spirex. I'll just want to die expression. He's got a load of apples to send to the barn. Well, that's the Josh. Don't be lazy anymore. <laughs> that will happen only when the red constellations <laughs> align in the sky. Good job, T-Rex. Let's all nap for some time. But oh, not the right time, I guess. The crow who noticed begins stealing all the apples one by one. You gotta wake up, guys. Too late, Mr. Allosaurus. They are already stolen. Did you hit with that hug? Or what? Didn't you eat all these apples? <gasps> no, no, no way. It's what? not that poor guy. Yes, he didn't cause it. That was a greedy crow. They all looked at him, disrespectfully gulping the apple. And now, he has the audacity to bully them. Oh no! Poor T-Rex is having a hard time again. The nasty crow caught his tail and carried him and eat it into the pond. Ronto had enough of the crow. He's got a plan. Meanwhile, the crow is successfully lured by the apple. Large bright 
and he passed out. What an amazing day to spend his life away in a cage. Here's the bank in Jurassic World. Like every other watchman, even T-Rex is irresponsibly sleeping without guarding the bank. There comes the joyful hamster, always enthusiastic and clever. He sees the bank and sees the watchman too. Realizing that it's actually T-Rex, the hamster is super cool about robbing the bank. All he could see was money. Oh yeah! The hamster smoothly sneaked in and successfully got out. And that's when T-Rex snapped out of the sleep. The hamster proceeded to tease T-Rex. T-Rex feels anger and chases the hamster which isn't rare. Optimistic T-Rex is now training in martial arts to defeat the hamster. T-Rex is now a black belt dino. As usual, the hamster has casually performed a robbery and goes hopping back home and T-Rex sat there with his black belt. Hamster decided to throw a few bricks at T-Rex which was successfully being broken by T-Rex until the last brick hit him. have arrived to arrest T-Rex cause now the scene only has T-Rex and a bag of looted currency. T-Rex is resting under his den while the little dinos were under their own shelter and there came Parasaur. Man, you have startled me. What's odd with you? Oh, I see. You have bought a new pair of skiing shoes. <laughs> yeah, my dad has gifted me this for Christmas. <laughs> Can we try that for once? Wow! <laughs> sure! My dad has bought these for you guys too! 
That was a cool dino friendship. Soon the worries began snow skiing. Parasaur felt silly and laughed at them when he himself ran into the tree and the other two dinos went past him. Oh yeah! The dinos did good amount of skating and ended up near the frozen lake. Oh no! Let's skate here. It's going to be fun. The other two agreed and it was going well until the ice broke what? and the triceratops <gasps> fell into the lake. Soon a larger ice broke out of Brontosaurus and Parasaur was able to escape it. Looking at their friend, they were screaming helplessly. Oh, no. Their screams reached T-Rex <gasps> and he immediately ran there following the screams. He spotted the dinos and triceratops taken away by the flow of water. Triceratops, we were so worried about the worst. But thanks to Uncle T-Rex. That's fine young man, but be careful from the next time. Soon the elder one and the younger ones were spending wise time. 